I'm going to Katsukon for an anime convention from Wretched Egg. Um, how do I work up the courage to talk to anime thotties? You talk to them like anybody else, and you make sure that you use push pull, same as if you would talk to a dude that you're, you know, you have a, a interest in, you know, not not like a sexual interest, but you know, same way you talk to a dude. The last thing you ever want to do, and I'm giving you guys this advice, you never want to go up to somebody as a fan. Never go up like, I love your content. I'm a huge follower. I want to take a picture with you, please. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, this makes my day. No, no. Even if you never hear from them again, be chill. It leaves a much better impression because a lot of these guys who you go up to as excited fans, they've seen that and heard that plenty of times over. I mean, even myself, you know, God of Green HX is a perfect example because the dude could have easily come up to me on that same length. And I could have been like, you know, yeah, man, let's take a picture. You know, it's cool. But he came up to me like a, a, a nigga. He came up to me like he was one of my boys. And he was like, yo, Etika, man, I'm God of Green HX. I've been following you for a little bit. And he, I was like, oh, shit, you're that nigga? He was like, yeah, man, yo. You trying to have some fun in this party? I was like, yeah. I'm, I was like, oh, you going to the same party? He said, yo, my nigga, let's go, let's go in. And we went into the party. We were taking shots. He never once brought up the, you know, I mean, another thing is that a lot of people, when it comes to meeting real life influencers, they want to like bring up memes. Memes are good and bad in a dual sense. Like on the internet, they're all good. But in in real life, they make you seem like you're a fucking fanatic. And I mean, it's not bad to be a fanatic. But if you're trying to get close to a YouTuber, you're trying to establish, yo, I'm a cool dude. It's chill. No big deal. You don't want to bring up memes. Just be chill. You know, be like, hey, what's up? And yo, got a green HX. He left such a great impression on me because it was like, yo, this dude, he's literally, I've seen him in every stream. He's about the shit, but it's like, he doesn't give a fuck. It's like, whatever. Nigga, the, nigga just goes in, you know, like Verlissify, I mean, it's a little different because Verlissify is already an established person. So I would have approached him on the same wavelength as, you know, another person who is a contemporary, not just like, you know, a crazy fan. But I mean, you know, he's being humble now. So he said I went in fearless. But I mean, Verlissify is like, cool. Like if I ever meet Loot Bomber, I mean, before any of the me memes are OK later on, but, you know, First time reaction, I don't expect Luke Bomber to come up to me like, Subway sandwiches are no longer 12 inches, bro. Like, no, he's going to come up to me like, yo, Etika, man, what's up, bro? It's, it's nice to finally meet you, man. Boom, give a dap. We, we say, yo, where, where are we chilling? He's down with the squad. He comes through. Luke Bomber's like, yo, I'm taking a shot. I'm fucked up, nigga. He's ready to have fun. Go to the party with me. Chill out. And then at that point, he's like, yo, man, Subway sandwiches. You know, I mean, it's it's... It's a matter of social, social understanding to where it's like you can place certain behaviors before others. You know, at the end of the day here, Internet culture does not translate into real life establishment. It doesn't. Internet memes belong on the Internet. They stay on the Internet for the most part until you have an established sense of comfort with the individual that you're referring those memes towards, you know, like it's, it's, it's not as easy as just because a lot of people, I, I spoke at a school the other day and a lot of guys were like, Oh, Oh, Minecraft. Oh, something. It's like, that doesn't work, man. I mean, it, it works to like get laughs and it works to make fun, but it doesn't work to make you a friend of the person. You know, I mean, it, it's not that simple. It's, it sounds like I'm being a bitch about it. It sounds like I'm just being judgmental and not wanting to have memes, but trust me, I love memes, but Talking to a person face to face is far different than talking to an anonymous name that pops up on the internet. Face to face changes the whole game. So you want to make sure that you come at them like a regular person. It's like, you know, you can let them know, I followed you for a while, man. I'm all about your content. It's cool to meet you finally, you know, dap it up and, you know, just chill. Be chill. Don't be like, oh my God. Oh, 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 I'm going to suck your dick, nigga. Like, no, just be like, Yo, I, I, I'm relaxed, man. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. Yo, it's cool that you're out here, bro. Let's have some fun, you know. And listen, I'll tell you guys a secret. For me personally, if you want to get me real comfortable, nigga, bring me some drinks. I'll drink that shit with you right there in real life. There's niggas that have bought me drinks on the same wavelength before. Been like, yo, Etika, man, I bought you some Bombay. Let's take some shots together. And I was like, nigga? <laughs> All sorts of crazy shit happen. But, you know, obviously that's not a criteria that you have to follow through 100%. Do whatever. But I'm just telling you guys, it's always better to leave an impression of, yo, I'm just 
chilling out here rather than I'm a fucking fan that's willing to suck your dick. In real life, at least. Obviously, sometimes it plays out different in real life than, you know, just talking about it here on the stream. But I'll tell you what worked for me. The people that I made good friends of out of, like, viewers always were people that were just chill about shit, you know? Um, facts. Yo, yo, Green! Green, you're still in here? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling these boys, Green. Like, you know, it's, it's like... This nigga Green didn't come at me like some fucking fanboy. He came at me like a nigga. He came at me like a I, you. Sometimes you want to be treated. Sometimes in life, you don't want to be treated as some deity. You want to be treated as a human being. Flaws and perks involved. And you just want to be, you know, embraced by a person who appreciates you for what you do, but not willing to fucking get on their knees and suck your dick. And, and Green was one of those people. He was just like, yo, man, uh, I was like, wait a minute, God of Green HX? You're that dude? Because this nigga's been around for a minute. And he was like, yeah, it's me, man. I'm like, what the fuck? I was losing my shit. But he was just like, yo, man, let's, let's wait a minute. Why are you losing your shit out here when there's ladies that need to have some drinks put into them? This nigga Green bought like fucking three rounds of drinks for me i was like what the fuck green i'm still cr i'm still blown away that it's you bro and he was like yo f stop focusing on that focus on this motherfucking party and he gave me a shot and i was like i took the shot i was like whoa that's my nigga right there man so you know from 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 that moment on green is a cool dude you know i'm giving you this advice not just to apply towards me but there's plenty of other YouTubers that all of you guys will probably meet at some point. You want to make sure you play it cool. All YouTubers are all YouTubers I've ever met, whether they, you know, are people that I kept in contact with or you're not. I've always maintained a stance of you're not a fucking celebrity to me. You're a nigga. And I'll treat you like a nigga no matter what. So whatever. Things worked out. But, you know, that's advice that's not necessarily special. Obviously, many of you probably know that same advice. So, it's nothing crazy. When we met, we took shots the first time getting drunk. That's what I'm saying, Alex. You know, like, it wasn't on some, like, fan viewer shit. It was on some nigga to nigga shit. That's what I'm saying. You want to you wanna, you wanna get close to me, bro? Bring me, some, bring me some liquor and bring me some food. That's the easy... Bro, it's... I think it's understated how easily food can get to someone's heart, man. Like, it's literally a direct pathway. Bring somebody some food. I mean, unless they just ate, man. Like, bring somebody some food that you know they would like. And, bro, it's an instantaneous, like, easy access, like, direct route to get to their heart. Like, nigga, that'll do the job. 